The Winter Olympics are wonderful, but it's not a winter wonderland when you've got acid indigestion. And a headache you can hardly stand. But don't you worry, fast relief is on its way. We'll speed you Alka-Seltzer. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, save the day. We'll skate you fast relief across the ice. And we'll sled you fast relief downhill. We'll ski you fast relief through the air. If, if you need, need us, we'll be there. Alka-Seltzer is supporting the 1980 Olympic Games. Hello and welcome back to Brand Management. The show that explores the history of your favorite brand mascots. Today we take a look at early Olympic mascots. The first Olympic Games were held in April of 1896. Over 70 years later, during the 1968 Winter Games in Grenoble, the Olympics were given their first mascot. Schuss was an abstract character of a skier. While Schuss wasn't an official mascot for the games, the character was a hit and appeared on merchandise including toys and clocks. Schuss showed the effectiveness a mascot could have, and the Olympics began a tradition of introducing new mascots for each winter and summer games. In 1972, Baldi, the multicolored dachshund, was introduced as the first official mascot at the Munich Olympic Games. Fans could take home plush Valdis and wooden block toys of the character. 1976 saw Schneemann, the snowman, at the Innsbruck Winter Olympics. Schneemann dolls were a hit at these games, and walk-around characters of Schneemann could be spotted throughout the event. Amick, the beaver, was the mascot for the Montreal Summer Olympics of 1976. Amick was a more minimalistic design, but could be seen as merchandise and floats at the Montreal Games. Roni the raccoon was the mascot for the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid, New York. Roni could be spotted as a walk-around character who performed different sports to promote the events. The role of the Olympic mascot reached new heights at the 1980 Moscow Summer Olympics with Misha the Bear. Misha was portrayed as a small, cuddly bear wearing a belt of the Olympic stripes and rings. He was designed by Viktor Chizhikov, a popular artist who illustrated over 100 books including Russia's version of Winnie the Pooh. The Moscow Olympics were controversial, with 55 nations boycotting the Soviet Union. Despite this, Misha's popularity took off like no other Olympic mascot before. In 1979, Misha appeared in a cartoon titled Baba Yaga Protiv, in which the Baba Yaga tries to prevent Misha from attending the Olympics. Also in 1979, Misha became the subject of a Japanese anime titled Misha the Bear Cub. The series follows Misha as he moves with his family to a new town and goes on adventures. The series ran for 26 episodes and was also a hit in Spain and Latin America. As the Olympics drew near, Misha merchandise became very popular. Misha dolls were sold around the world. He was also widely available as pins, stamps, and ceramic figures. During the opening ceremony of the 1980 Olympics, dancers dressed as Misha performed for the crowd. During the closing ceremony, a card stunt of Misha shed tears as he bid farewell to the games. A large balloon of Misha was marched through the stadium. Finally, the balloon was released into the sky, as teary-eyed fans 
wave goodbye to Misha, and the 1980 Moscow Olympics. The 1984 Winter Olympics were held in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Vuchko, the wolf, was introduced as the mascot for these games. Vuchko could be spotted as a walk-around character and an animated character during the event. Vuchko never gained the international popularity that Misha did, but was hugely popular in Yugoslavia. Vuchko appeared as normal merchandise, like toys, dolls, and pins, but also less common items, like radios, canteens, and ashtrays. Vuchko is still fondly remembered in Sarajevo, and can be found on merchandise throughout the city. On August 4th, 1980, one day after the conclusion of the Moscow Summer Olympics, a press conference was held on the steps of Los Angeles City Hall. Los Angeles had been named as the host city for the upcoming 1984 Summer Olympics. Mayor Tom Bradley, comedian Bob Hope, and others gathered for the unveiling of the official emblem for the 1984 Olympics, as well as its official mascot. Sam the Eagle was picked as the mascot for the 1984 Olympics. He was depicted as an American bald eagle, wearing a striped bow tie, and an Uncle Sam style top hat bearing the Olympic rings. Sam was introduced to the LA crowd as a walk around character who unfortunately had a little trouble walking around. Sam was designed by Disney artist Bob Moore, who had worked on such classics as Dumbo and Fantasia, and also co-created Disney's own citrus brand mascot, the Orange Bird. While Disney designers developed the character, they did not maintain the rights to Sam. Sam set out on a tour to spread the word about the upcoming LA Olympic Games. As Sam promoted the Olympics, he began appearing on a very wide variety of merchandise. This includes dolls, pins, mugs, watches, and even brass bookends. Sam could be seen on advertising for brands like Coca-Cola, Budweiser, and Buick. Sam was prominently featured in Olympic-related promotions for McDonald's. Ronald McDonald in good sports. There's Sam, the Olympic Eagle, the official mascot of the 1984 Olympics. He appeared in a commercial with Ronald and friends. Jumping hurdles by two. Vaulting into the blue. Who can do it? Whoa. Ronald, that's two. Thanks, Ronald. Now off to the Olympics. See you there. And Sam was featured on McDonald's Disastrous when the U.S. wins, you win scratch-off cards. Now you can compete in the Olympics, too. Play McDonald's. When the U.S. wins, you win Olympic games and win up to $10,000 instantly. The 1984 promotion allowed customers to win food if American athletes won medals in certain categories. Due to countries like the Soviet Union, East Germany, and North Korea protesting the U.S.-based Olympic Games, Americans won a total of 174 medals that year. McDonald's restaurants across the country struggled to supply the demands for free food. In 1983, well over a year before the L.A. Olympic Games, Sam also became the subject of a Japanese anime series titled Eagle Sam. In the series, Sam is a private investigator who, along with his friends, must stop bad guys, including his cockroach nemesis. When Sam was in trouble, he could summon the power of the Olympic rings on his hat. <laughs> In 
Eagle Sam ran for 51 episodes exclusively in Japan, but appears to have mostly been lost. Sam has had a life long after the 1984 games. He still appears as a mascot for LA84, a Los Angeles-based foundation supporting youth sport programs. Sam the Eagle can still often be seen at LA84 supported events, giving out medals and sometimes dabbing. With the Olympics returning to Los Angeles in 2028, perhaps we'll see Sam return to the games. Heidi and Howdy were twin polar bears who served as the mascots for the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary, Alberta. The duo wore traditional Western style clothing and were popular walk around characters. Long after the Olympic Games, Heidi and Howdy could still be seen on signage welcoming visitors to the city of Calgary. The signs were officially relocated to Canada Olympic Park in 2008. Hodori, the tiger, was picked as the mascot for the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. During the opening ceremony, performers dressed as Hodori danced on stage with some of his predecessors, including Sam the Eagle and Amic the Beaver. As usual, Hodori merchandise swept the nation. Sometimes, Hodori was joined by a female counterpart, Hosuni. Hodori made appearances in 2018 during the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics to welcome their new mascot, Su Hurong. In a future episode, we'll explore more of the Olympic mascots. The cute, the weird, and the even weirder. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Brand Management. If you enjoyed this episode, Please like and subscribe.